Okay guys, so I was working on the June Mission Inspiration, this page here, and I evidently, after a few weeks off of filming, and I mean like only two weeks, I've forgotten how to use my camera. I don't know. I'm going to blame it on the fact that it's like 115 degrees here in the Portland, Oregon area today. The heat's affected my brain. I don't know. So I have a few clips here and there of how I did this and what I did, but it's not a lot. So I started out by washi taping off um, a rectangle and I'll cut to the clips I have here while I'm talking. And my idea was to paint like a galaxy scene in a planet. Um, I started with the planet um, colors, um, which were inspired by the mission of which the colors are navy, magenta, and gold. And um, then I traced off a circle using just the top of a jar that's on my desk with a white paint pen, um, actually a pit pen uh, and a gel pen. And then I wanted to add, I had the bl a blue and a magenta on here and I wanted to add some gold and I got out, first I got out a Krylon 14 karat gold paint pen which was totally clogged and useless. And anyway, I've ended up using it up on some random scrap paper. Um, pulling the nib out. Anyway, that's a whole different conversation. I'll put that in my vlog um, and I'll link that vlog if I can remember below. Anyway, I grabbed another paint pen and this is a Sharpie gold paint pen, water-based, and I added some gold highlights to my planet with that. Then I went ahead and took the background and painted it darker to look more like a galaxy like space and added some stars with the uh, white gel pen and this gold paint pen. And now the washi tape didn't work very well. We can cut to a picture right about here where it shows that the paint ble bled underneath the washi tape um, because it is a very watery gouache that was on my table and that's probably why. Um, so I thought, well, I have to make a frame now because I want it to be like a window. So I got some gray cardstock out of uh, my just random bo uh, box of paper and cut a rectangle out the same size and shape as the galaxy um, windowscape that I wanted to have. And then I decided I wanted to add curtains to it, so I took some random lined paper and pleated it and made curtains, punched a hole in the top and added a strip of black cardstock for a curtain rod and a couple of die cut birds I had on the desk. I, I don't know where inspiration came for this. This isn't, isn't where I was going to go for it, but I do uh, go with it. I, I do like the way it turned out. I threaded the black um, cardstock through the pleated fabric um, with, I just punched a hole in the top and then threaded it through and then stapled it. And then I, on my typewriter, printed, open a window to the possibilities. I do like the way it came out. Is it exactly what Mike probably intended with this month's prompt for June 2021? Probably not, but I love the way it turned out nevertheless. Now I did pinch my finger in my typewriter because yeah, that was an issue anyway. <sighs> Hopefully next month I will be better at the filming thing with these pages and actually catch most of what I did on camera. But I, at this moment, don't think I caught a whole lot. But we'll see. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys all had a fun time with the June Mission Inspiration and the Mid-Month Mini w Mission, which I also just finished. Um, if you don't know what Mission Inspiration is, it is a art group on Facebook run by our my art friend and colleague here on YouTube, Mike Deacon. And um, I will link his group in the description below. He has monthly, monthly prompts and inspiration in his group. And it is a great way to create pages and not have to worry about not being inspired, um, which we all suffer with every now and then. All right. And his prompts are really exciting and interesting, I think. And this, month, this year, he has sort of an ingredients or what I call a recipe list on his missions and so I really am enjoying those very much too. Um, he's not the only one that does them but I do think his are new and unique. Anyway, so that's it for this month. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you will. I'll put the link to Mike Deacon's channel down below if you don't know who he is and you haven't seen his YouTube channel yet um, along with his Facebook group and uh, please stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.